Hello, welcome to the programme. Straight away, I want to bring you some live pictures because a big rocket has just taken off in the last few seconds. We've been keeping an eye on this because this is a significant moment for Europe's European uh, Space Agency, ESA. Let's take a listen in. And is blazing a trail across the equatorial skies. The range operations manager is telling us that everything is going according to plan. And, Tina. And I didn't know my heart can pump so fast. <laughs> oh my god. And Jupiter too. We hear her. It's quite a sight. Oh, she's coming, she's coming. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is happening. It's the most incredible feeling we have. Uh, we're on the edge of tears here in the in the commentary box because this is a big day and a big moment. Trajectoire nominal. Actually, the building's rumbling around us now. And look at look. These are the live images from the from the cameras on board. We're looking at the booster. We're looking down. We're looking down. At one of the two boosters. We can see the flames coming out of that booster because, of course, the boosters. Pour la station de Saint -Jean, propulsion nominale. Boosters are doing all the work. He's telling us that everything is going according to plan and everything is nominal. And look at the visibility. We might even be. C'est nominal. Trajectoire nominal. We have clear skies tonight, to this afternoon. We had rain all day, but the clouds parted. The two dots there, the boosters. There, we see them falling off. Separation des USR. From Do we have booster separation? So, wow, that's the first clapping here that we see. Uh, what a beautiful lift-off. And our cameras. We on board. Nominal, trajectoire nominal. These oh. pictures are coming in with a 20 seconds delay, which is why we have them now. Look at this, how they fall off. Wow. Amazing, amazing. So these boosters, they have transported us 60 kilometers high. <laughs> and we can see that dot is the... Nominal. Telling us that the trajectory is normal, everything going according to plan. That's the engine on the main stage that you can see there and we've got a camera inside now what are we looking at here tina oh yeah, we're looking so back down at this, the earth this was actually a camera inside the interstage so we will be able to see when the lower stage separates that's coming up but now we have actually lost half our mass already because the boosters have burned almost 300 tons of fuel in two minutes time. Trajectoire nominal. everything nominal and we're getting operations manager says Yes, and we're getting close now to the next thing, which will be the jettisoning of the fairing, the fairing being the nose cone of the launch vehicle, uh, which is where the passengers are sitting. Oh, Separation de la coiffe. You even see the... Wow, that's amazing. We had confirmation there that the fairing has been jettisoned. Yes, so the fairing that was protecting our spacecraft uh, withstands all the pressure and the heat and uh, once we stuck out the nose out of the atmosphere we didn't need her anymore and it has been jettisoned. So what we're looking at now is the main stage, which is what we're burning and... So that's the, right that's the way to start the programme, isn't it? A live rocket launch uh, right as we come on air. So this is Ariane 6 making its inaugural flight, uh, taking off, as you can see there, from French Guyana. This is a, a demonstration mission. Effectively, he's going to put a uh, group of satellites in orbit. Uh, the reason this is significant is because it will give the plan is anyway European governments and European companies access to space independently from the rest of the world so a crucial moment for everyone who's been working on that and so far it looks so good so we will continue checking in with the progress of that rocket after its successful launch there uh, as the program goes on we'll be keeping across those pictures let you know what happens